Hi everybody, how's it going? My name is Scott Davis. People call me the culinary dude. You can call me dude if you want. But today we are cooking seasonal vegetables and our seasonal vegetable for today is broccoli. We'll be making a broccoli pudding with all of my people here, my friends, my brothers, my sisters. They're not really my brothers and they're my sisters, but they're very cool people. <laughs> Here we are at the lovely Renaissance in San Rafael, California. Renaissance is a great place if you want to take cooking classes or if you happen to be an entrepreneur who is looking to start a cooking business, this is a great place to get some information, to get some input into getting into the business. But for now, it's time to make broccoli pudding. I'm gonna go down the list and you guys tell me if we have it. Do we have French bread? Okay, do we have broccoli? Yes. Do we have butter? Yes. Do we have onion? Yes. Okay, do we have garlic? No. Don't! Here it is right here. Uh. Garlic. Do we have sweet cheese? Yes. Eggs? Yes. Uh, half and half? Yes. Uh, salt? Yes. Pepper? Yes. And nutmeg? Yes. The reason we did this is because it's always important to get all your things together before you cook. Because if you get everything together, you don't go, oh, I need to go here or I need to go there. You just have it. We have everything we need, okay? So I'm going to give everybody a job. Before we give people jobs, we're going to talk about cutting and using a knife. You take a look at the knife. This makes noise. Moving your knife forward and backward doesn't, and it helps cut and makes things a lot easier to cut. Now, I did something wrong. What did I do wrong when I was pretending to cut with the knife? Um, banging, that's one thing we talked about. But the other thing is when you're cutting, keep your eyes on the knife, okay? Knives don't have brains, they don't go, oh, look, there's Ginger, I wanna cut her finger. They don't think that way. They don't think, they don't have brains. So, keep your eye on the knife. Look, I can, actually, I'll take a piece of broccoli and I'll cut it, and look, my eyes are on the knife, okay? I can stand on one foot, but my eyes are still looking at the knife. When I'm done with the knife, I put it at the top of the cutting board and I'm cool, okay? If you're cutting, keep your eyes on the knife, okay? So today we're gonna be baking. We're gonna be using our saute pan to cook the onions that Dylan and Devin are gonna be working on. And then I have Ginger and June and Sasha who are all gonna be helping different things. So this is what we need to do. Dylan, can you start cutting the onion for me, please? All right, Ginger, please start smooshing. Ginger is, this is the pan that we're gonna be cooking in. Ginger's gonna push all the butter into all the corners. You two ladies, start breaking up some bread into pieces and let's put it into this bowl. All right, you ready? Devin, not Dylan. Start cutting these in smaller pieces and then just put them at the top of your cutting board. Keep your eye on the knife at all time. How's it going, Ginger? Whoa, look at that, buttery hands. Now why are we putting butter on the sides of the pan? So it doesn't stick. Plus, butter is a lot of flavor. As I said before to a lot of people, my two favorite tools in the kitchen are my hands. And if you check out these ladies right here, they are using their hands. They could cut, but you know what? I think it's a lot more fun when you use your hands because you get to feel the food. How does that butter feel? Good. Because you're smiling. You've been smiling since you touched that butter. All right, now ladies, you're gonna start putting that bread on the bottom of this, okay? So, with your pieces of onion, we're gonna put those in there. If you wanna cut them into small pieces, I like what you're doing. The cool thing is you have two hands, so you can use your other hand to hold it, just keep your, eye, your hands and fingers out of the way. So, bread, broccoli going on here, butter, onion, garlic, garlic, oh garlic. Hi, could you cut some garlic for me, please? Remember, with garlic, it has these little stems on the end, so we want to cut those off and get them out of the way and then cut them. Remember to cut them into really, really small pieces. All right, we've got our cheese and our eggs. Again, I'm reading this because when I'm by myself, I can figure it out, but I have other people in the kitchen, so it's important to make sure that everybody knows what's going on because if somebody forgets something, then somebody else can go, hey, wait a minute, culinary dude, you forgot this. There we go. You getting onionized? So, 
This is my favorite thing, onion ice. Come here, Mr. Onion Ice. He's getting onion ice. He's got, I know, it slice. Remember, onions don't make you cry, they make your eyes water. When you get onion ice, don't just stand there and keep on getting onion ice. What you do with the onion ice, and you're gonna see me leave, but what I'm gonna do is you walk away. You just walk away, walk away from the onions. Because onion eyes can really hurt your eyes. So just take a break, relax. Ready? All right, let me take a little bit of butter, put that right there, then come around. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna saute. So one hand always holds the pan because look what happens if you don't hold it. Let go, let go, look what happens, whoa! And that's what's cool because you got the handle. And you don't have to do it so fast, but we're gonna start to see some butter sizzling and we're gonna start to see them kind of turn kind of see-through or something called opaque. Because the pan's hot, I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. But if you guys were to do it at home, who would you need help from? Mom or dad. Or a, an adult. It's great, mom or dad could help, but hopefully one day you will be cooking for mom and dad. Right? Mom and dad, so we got that. Put that there. I need every kid in this room to take a handful of cheese and sprinkle it on top. I'll go first. Okay, since it's right in front of you. So what I'm gonna do is take this and put it in very carefully, and we're gonna let it cook for about 30 to 35 minutes. All right, how long we've we been waiting for our broccoli? Like five days, right? Yeah, five days. At least five days. All right, really 45 minutes. So the broccoli pudding, come around. Opening the oven! All right, let the heat come out. Now, I'm gonna have something hot. Whenever I pull something hot out of the oven, I tell people, I have something hot. Hot pan, hot pan. So I'm gonna put my hot pan right here. All right, guys, come around, gather around, check it out. This is our broccoli pudding. It looks delicious. It's, how does it smell? You smell it now? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, we did a great job with our broccoli, our seasonal uh, vegetable. And that brings us to the end. My name is Scott Davis. People call me the culinary dude. Um, I'd like to say thank you to my friends that I'm working with. If you'd like more information on classes, excuse me, I'm standing on Ginger's stool. Um, please go to www.theculinarydudeontour.com. Thanks again. Are you guys ready to eat? Yeah. Excellent. Let's eat. It's still a little hot.